Hey, what's going on guys? Kalamazi here. It's going to be a run through a plus 12 Temple of the Jade Serpent with Fortified and Thundering. I don't think we had Tyrannical on this one as well, but it's certainly Fortified and Thundering. Uh, we played Demonology for this run. Uh, for those that have been asking to see more Demonology and Keys, and I do think that Demonology is quite possibly one of the meta specs currently when it comes to like the specs that are better and considered meta at this current point in Dragonflight Beta. Now, all of that meta-ness could totally change literally any minute if Blizzard pushes buffs or nerfs to other classes or to us or vice versa. So it just depends what you're looking at. It's very important to keep that in mind. Um, but the Felstorm bug fixes and just Demonology's buffs to Implosion and Imp Gang boss and all that kind of stuff has put it in a pretty prime spot to be probably one of, one of if not the best caster when it comes to Mythic Plus settings. Uh, so getting into the build that we actually ended up playing, we ended up playing uh, this build here. Now, I'll say right now, I'm not a huge fan of this build. I think it's okay. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Pact of the Imp Mother. I thought it was bugged initially proc wise. I cast like 30 hand to lands and got zero procs. Uh, then I cast three more and got a proc into a proc. Um, and like, obviously RNG is RNG. Uh, I think they have to be pretty careful with the actual like percent proc on this, like 10% per hand cast, because if it's too high, I mean, it obviously works well with Imp Gang Boss. It works well with Implosion Cycling. Uh, Sack Souls, all the synergy between that stuff and like uh, Demonic Meteor. So it's it's hard to be... I think if you're... <laughs> you have to err on the side of caution with things like Pact of the Ant Mother. It probably could be buffed a little bit. Uh, putting two points into a trait like this and getting 10% chance, it just seems sort of off the RNG. I'm, I don't, I'm not a big fan of RNG. If it procs, great. If it doesn't, I'd rather put two points in other spots. Uh, we did play this, this build though for this run. I wasn't really sold on blood, Bloodbound Imps either. I didn't really... I think it was a big of a deal. I think you have enough core procs anyways, just from third dog, from implosion cycling, um, just imps in general expiring and all that, uh, and uh, demonic knowledge. So this felt like a bit of overkill. If I was going to play a different build, I'd probably go something like this, uh, like nothing in here, probably just like Infernal Command, grabbing this, going into guillotine, and probably putting a point, like coming out of Soul Strike into like inner demons or demonic calling. Um, people are going to ask, why no, why no demonic calling? Calling feels great when it procs. It's awesome, but it is not a mandatory talent. And the more builds I played recently, like the hybrid Demon Bolt Portal build or, you know, builds like this, I find myself needing points in other parts of the tree. For example, Imp Gang Boss was not really played in any builds but Nether Portal before um, because you had to unlock it, you know, like going like this through here because you weren't really grabbing Fell Covenant unless you're playing the hybrid build. But now you want it basically every build so you have to find a way to pull two points from other abilities and i think that ability is demonic calling you're not it's not like calling is not ripped from the portal if you're not it's not like you're not getting a third dog if you're not playing it you can still cast your dogs every 20 seconds they just have a cast time and cost two shards right which the proc wasn't guaranteed it had a pretty high chance for sure uh, but it wasn't guaranteed every time right so i haven't played with it for about a week or so now in beta keys for the most part in most builds i played it was awkward at the start a little bit but I've certainly gotten used to it, uh, and I don't think it's required, probably in any setting. You could move this point here from Inner Demons to Demonic Calling. I've seen people go play Power Siphon. Uh, it's up to you. It's probably one of these three points here. I don't think Soul Strike's really worth it. You have enough shards either way with a million Demonic Core procs. Um, it's damage overall, even with Entorin, having it like AoE is pretty abysmal. It's nice for on the move buttons to hit, but let's be honest, you can implode, you can cast Demon Bolts. Um, yeah, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. So uh, I'd probably start with a build like this moving forward. But in the video, once again, we ended up playing, uh, I believe, uh, something like something like this. Uh, we had a point in Soul Strike 2 somewhere. But uh, yeah, run the video and take a look. I think it was this. But uh, yeah, <laughs> TLDR. I don't like it, Mother. Not a fan of this a whole lot. But uh, we'll see where it goes. The run was fun. A couple deaths here and there. Uh, I died in the first boss. Uh, the sun was in my eyes. So, uh, any week course in the video, once again, uh, link down below to my Twitch and or my Discord, hop in there. Exclamation mark WA in chat or the disc, uh, in Twitch chat or Discord pulls up the Wago for you where they're all for free for you guys. And uh, yeah, that should be it. That being said, let's hop into the video. All right, let's juice this up. Dogs, 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 cast dogs. I mean, the big thing is the haunting shout, whatever the mobs do, um, that are coming up. It's like an, un it's an unkickable gaze they do. Um, just, it's like a frontal, just dodge it. But there's a kickable one, like haunting spring or something like that. It's like high prior kick. Or it fears the whole group. 
And it will kill us in the other part of the dungeon if we don't kick it. That's the big thing. Yeah. Did pull these. Alright, I'm down for this. I don't really want to clear here. I think we're okay, right? Yeah, we're chilling. Oh, they all instantly clear. Okay, I didn't do it. Okay. Alright, I'm These are also like fully sunnable too. Uh, maybe besides the deluge, but I think they're all pretty much sunnable here, so we can just really blast them. Uh, I thought they were at least. That. Yo, thank you for the tier one, man. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Back for the nine. Some weird Twitch meme in there. Twitch child meme. Yo, yo, yo. Thank you for the nine months, man. Welcome back. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Much love. All right, let's go. It's like no audio from the boss. I think the thundering bugged it out, maybe. Odd. Big juice. Big juice. Oh, it can't be on the water. He does that little. Yeah, he can't be on this part. He does that, unfortunately. It's lagging, actually. Probably don't even need a healer for this, but it's fine. Not a whole lot of good damage, honestly. Good again, Zaph. Welcome back, big dog. Kind of plus death, God of War. Dude, God of War is pretty good, actually. No shot! It goes on me. How am I supposed to tell where it's even going? No shot! <laughs> like, no shot! <laughs> what is that? Okay, dude. <laughs> okay, dude. All right. Maybe I should look at the... Uh, I, is that even my fault? Like, okay, <laughs> maybe we're gonna say that was just uh, I, I could the sun was in my eyes, I couldn't see. <laughs> I didn't look where the boss is facing, to be fair, but like, <laughs> good lord, I can't release because this guy's RPing. All right, cool, let's do it now. Uh, big thing here is the kicks coming up on these ads, like the haunting whatevers and stuff. That was good. <laughs> Zad, thank you for the nine. Welcome back again. Uh, Raynair? Prime for two. Thank you for the Prime. Much love. Welcome back as well. Thank you. Thank you for that support. Appreciate it. Thank you for sharing that Prime love here this month. It means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. There's the gaze. It's, it's like a shout coming up. This thing. You can kick that. That's the big, like, crowd kick on all the mobs. Like, these mobs in here. If we hit those, it should be all right. Hopefully. Let's see. But... The first spec is lock if all damage is similar. Uh after demo. One of the two. You there, in the rafters. My sacred library has become Aff or demo for show. But I mean they're all fine. That's dead, sick. I love that. I lost my demonic strength value actually. I think he died from the strength. There we go. Um, no, 
listen, whatever, man. Okay, no, 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 don't, don't put that on me. Don't put that on me, all right? That was not my fault, okay? <laughs> that was not my fault. No, it was not, okay? <laughs> it might have been my fault. <laughs> I wasn't looking. I don't know what you have me to say. Like, I wasn't looking. <laughs> I actually had no idea. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It can spawn, like, in any random direction, but I, I didn't even think about looking for the bosses facing for that. No, we're living and learn. What happened again? That's funny. I see we're near Legion numbers again. Stash Wish Shun. That's Wish Shun. I mean, this is this is beta for the new expansion. So I mean, uh, they recently increased uh, the, the amount of health players have by 40% on beta actually. So I'd assume after the expansion, just pushing 100%. Yeah, but I mean, before then, I don't know. Probably not. Probably not until afterwards. We'll have a we'll have a few million health by the end, 100%. Like 100%. I would have assumed they would have squished regardless though, just because like every other expansion appears to be a squish. It's like squish, expansion, expansion, squish, expansion, expansion, squish, typically. At least it feels that way. How does the yeah, ethics work? Uh, so I mean, look at like one lightning, one wind here. The different like, the different uh, colors or whatever. You have, to t you have to come in contact with the opposite effect to clear the buff. When you have the buff, oh, I thought, okay. But when you have the buff, you do 30% more damage. So you want to clear it towards the end if possible. Uh, and wait as long as possible to clear. Oh, that's a... Yeah, let's go. Um, happy to, happy to Dungeons getting a Mythic Plus version. It's my favorite Dungeons in the game. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It, it, it's not as like, it's funny. It's not. It's, it doesn't feel as good as like Shadow Moon Burial Grounds did. Um, it, it feels pretty good though. I like it overall. Yeah. Not too bad. Ah, it is not yet over. No thatch wish. Two million DPS incoming. I mean, we'll be at two million DPS in expansion for sure. For sure. For sure. Some light as the tale goes. <sighs> yeah, I mean, about on Destro locks. Uh, I mean, they're okay. He must better and probably Destro's probably a little better, or Ask's probably a little better too. Depends on the setting you're in, but uh, not terrible. We're gonna get a double shield here, I'm pretty sure. We're hitting them both, right? <laughs> I love how the thundering like audio interrupts things randomly. It's so good. Point one million artifact powers, cool beans number. Oh yeah, it was great, great times, great times. Uh, I mean, I'm mostly happy with like far. Well, it depends. Um, I think like far, like I feel like there needs to be some kind of player power rending game to keep players actively engaged in the game outside of like outside of just mythic plus and raiding and all that. Uh, I do think Shadowlands was a little excessive with, play, with player power grinds, but I mean. Uh, it depends. Overall, it's probably better than going away from some of those elements, but I think, uh... Dragonflight's gonna be good. I'm excited about it, but there's not a whole lot to do outside of Mythic Plus and PvP and raiding at max level. If you're, like, for, like, for, like, power gains and stuff, it really is anything. I mean, you can grind reps and stuff for, like, you know, transmog and all that. It's pretty cool. But there's not a crazy amount to do at max level besides that. But at the same time, before you think about it, it's been away for a long time. So I can have have given peace so. no. it's good either way i hope that 10.1 brings some kind of like maybe smaller player power grind I mean, something like you can just like you know get pretty easily but uh yeah it's a very very large shift from where it was in uh like, like in legion and shadowlands for sure for sure for sure much big like a very big shift much different so the packs in the courtyard that are coming up have the same kick mobs in them i, I believe there's like two per pack 
It's like super high prior kicks. We can LOS some of them back so they don't get feared in the room. But if we get feared in the room, we're probably just dead. So just try and LOS them back and stuff. Have a good night, Andrew. Thank you for the subs, man. I appreciate it. Have a good night, dude. Thanks for hanging out, big dog. I'll see you later. Um, what will make people play more than actually alts? Yeah, alts too. Alts for sure. I agree. I agree. I like playing my alts a lot. Didn't play many in Shadowlands. Um, just due to like, honestly, how much of a pain they were to level. So yeah, I feel that. I feel that for sure. I agree. Can't see with these trees in the way, man. I think he's gonna keep up on him. I don't know what it is though. <laughs> these trees, but I can't see anything. <laughs> I think next pack there. Yeah, Haunting Shaw. There's. It's one per. I thought we're two per actually. That's fine. Dog face pack, I think. We have like some instant cast procs coming up too. Yeah, that works. I'm gonna try and tire it here. I don't, I don't know if I can do it though. It's gonna be sort of close on time. I think we can. We can get it. Go to the next pack. Zoom next pack. Zoom next pack. Zoom. This one. Any pack. No, that's a big guy. No. <laughs> I have all this. No. <laughs> No! <laughs> uh, I had all the juice ready to go! <laughs> it's better than nothing, though. We can still implode, I guess. We can still get a little bit of damage in. The rope wasn't really a good pack to play there because this guy was in the middle, so I mean, it's fine. Like, uh... <laughs> I think we can save the res, probably right. Are you stunnable? I assume they are. Okay. Yeah. That's not. So the little ones are, but the main one's not. Okay. Okay. These die if it damage the Achilles then. Camera boss being Grimrail <laughs> of a cap or now. I don't know. I'm not sure, honestly. I don't know. Uh, I believe humans do get more of a bonus towards renown and stuff, but I'm not sure. I don't know exactly what the what the, how the renown looks. I don't know. Um, yeah. I made it where Vokers can use Dragon Wrath. I saw that actually. I saw that. It's sort of cool. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah, I thought, I thought the door did open as well, so the run back wasn't terribly long, but I guess it's just is Yeah, we're all here, right? Wait, we're oh, they're literally stuck over there. Okay, sure Oh goodness That's funny <clears throat> High budget professional video game Hell yeah, but... <laughs> Wait, that's not the wrong person. I, think I might have. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sneezes are killing me. All right, I don't know. Hopefully he's here. Let's just go. Somebody, someone, must do it. Do it. <laughs> Lemon, what's up, dude? What's going on? It's rare to see you here. It's late. What's going on, dude? What's up? What's up, what's up? All right, we go next pack. We juice next pack. We juice next pack. We go big juice next pack. Kyle's going next pack. Kyle's not waiting anymore. He's going in. Oh, 
we can hold this. No, uh, that's not what I, yeah, sure, sure, that works, Lemon, whatever you, whatever you want, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. What's up, dude? Uh, I'm gonna hold the strength of the tyrant, I think. Yeah, well, okay, it's super close, yeah, we hold this, 100%. 100%. I'm gonna move away, meaning y'all can clear together. I have confidence in you guys, you guys can clear together. Not moving yet. Okay, there, there they go, dude. Look at that. Look at how smart everybody is in this group. I just wanted the perma juice because I'm lasting damage. That dodge, dude. Calculated. No two short hands. Bad. It's a weird hand rock. I'm not sure how much of a fan I am of Bloodborne Imps. I don't know if I felt much of a difference, honestly, tonight. That wasn't good. I don't feel like I've, like I could, I don't know. I mean, it's really hard to feel out and say, like, numerically, but I don't know if I'm a big fan. I just won't even bother with it. Like, I think I'd rather have guillotine over that, honestly. I feel like I'm swimming in Corp Rocks a good bit either way. Um, yeah. Like, I think Bloodborne's all right, but probably not the best. Get dogs on CD here, actually, if you can. That works cool. From your eyes. Uh, Lemon, gifting a sub. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, man. Her. That's a sub, man. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, Lemon. Much love, dude. Thank you, thank you, big dog. Welcome to the channel, man. Alright, let's go spin. He's stunnable, actually. Okay. My pet's died twice in my train. It feels very bad. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. What's the question, uh, Age Soul? What's going on, dude? Um, you have a complete add-on list for beta. Uh, I mean, for beta, I mean, all I'm using on beta really is honestly just like weak wars and things. If you want my profiles, everything there, my Wago for free. Like the Wago, exclamation mark W A in chat, I'll pull it up for you. Um, all the profiles are in the Wago or the paste bin. Uh, but yeah, they should all be in there for you guys. What? Exclamation mark, exclamation mark W A in chat, I'll pull it up for you. Any? E. I just stack more for these actually. Just do. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Just get out. Okay. <clears throat> the change of open class color is so bad. I mean, it can be a little confusing in my like with my raid frames on like uh when I use SUF or whatever, like when they shade, like it looks like a monk out of range, sort of. But I mean, what other color could they make it actually? I don't actually know. I feel like most shades are taken. Like brown, I mean, brown, br brown's warrior, right? What do you do? Mm -hmm. Hard to say. Wants mads, big dog. I'm trying to do some damage here. No, oh, I didn't clear. No shot. Okay. A tyrant scuff then too. Yes, giga scuff tyrant. Oh, the horn. Could have been better overall, I think. I think our overall overall's a little low, but it wasn't too bad, I guess. I, don't know. I mean Dima feels good. It's nice. So 
<laughs> All right, go clean. Yeah, well, it was a relatively clean run. I mean, sure. Uh, <laughs> I guess a relatively clean run. Um, yeah. Uh, I like the even split of Felstorm and Dread Bite damage. Yeah. Uh, I feel like you, you can't pull as big in here. I, I guess there's like some decent size pulls in here. But not like the mass mass AB pulls like in other places potentially, but yeah, wasn't too bad. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Felstorm's cranking, man. 